y'all. It is hump day. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shan. Welcome to She Gets a Podcast. I got another goodie for y'all today. Y'all see the title? Talking body work versus workouts. All right. Because there's a difference, and I'm going to talk about the difference. But before we get into that, I got some sticky note thoughts for y'all. Some um, tweet of the days for y'all. Um, and we're going to get into it, all right? Hope you guys ready for your Wednesday. Just remember, today is Wednesday, not Tuesday. You started off a little late, you know. So, um, Friday is closer than we think, and that's how you need to look at the week. All right? Let's get into today's show. This is episode 11, all right, of season 14, and um, I got y'all, all all right? I got some things on my mind that I want to share. Let's go. What is Red Circle? Red Circle is that place you need to be if you're podcasting. They got free promotion that you can do with other podcasters that also use Red Circle. They have ad placement. They find the dead space within your show to put the ads. And they let you go ahead and monetize your show easier. They give you the best analytics. You can find out who's listening, what they're listening from, who are your top platforms that people like to listen from so you can focus in on that. They tell you the demographics, what city, what country, what town they're in. They tell you how many people download it on a weekly basis, and it's free. They don't tell you how many shows you can do uh, per month. They don't get rid of your old shows unless you want to get rid of it. You have support on there that you can text throughout the day and it's very easy to use you can edit your shows on there you can uh, take away you can add in you can schedule shows and that's what I use for all of my podcasts not just she gets it so if you're looking for a better platform to get on that's free so you can go ahead and focus in on cost wise what you need to focus in on why aren't you on red circle it's a web-based platform get on red circle today now back to the show Sticky note thoughts, because the notes are actually on sticky notes. All right, first and foremost, ain't no way my married husband online having single man posts or thoughts with other women. (laughs) Knowingly. Like, that's mad disrespectful. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. All right. Next, that Jasmine Sullivan DM confession that was in going around, yo, that shit, that shit is why being single is peace. Yo, there are people fully involved with another individual saying some wild shit that they have no idea they doing or did or have going on. And they just feel so comfortable to confess this shit to Jasmine Sullivan in her DMs for post. Yo, some shit that need to be taken to the grave. It's like the audacity of these people who are married, the audacity of these people who are in relationships that people think they're committed to, the audacity of these fiancés. The one that said... He really ugly, just like his mama, and I'm glad we ain't got kids. <laughs> that shit hit home for me because I'm no longer having any more children on this earth, um, biologically. So if a man come to me ugly, he gonna leave ugly, okay? And it will have no effect on me. Only if he took pictures together, somebody could pull those up digitally, all right? I'm just saying shit next um and this sort of snowballs together but separate thoughts y'all too single while married for my liking therefore again letting me be more comfortable single (laughs) like the fuck i ain't doing married type shit 
for a single man is why I'm single also. If I'm going to be silly and dumb, it's going to be for me only, okay? One ticket, please. The fuck? What? What? I'm just saying, y'all be using all y'all good efforts on the wrong people. Men and women. Yes. I need all cars in life to tell people when the gas cap is open or the light is out because I be feeling real anxiety when I can't communicate to the person in front of me or beside me that their gas tank is open or their light is out without looking crazy. Like, why don't all cars do that by now? (laughs) I'm confused. Um, FYI, the price is going up on chips, fruit, medicine, and cleaning products. And y'all know a bitch over here likes to clean. Y'all, they about to make me steal. They about to make me steal out here in real life. And I don't want to be locked up because I want my house smelling like flowers and daisies and shit. But the price of this fabric softener is like, damn, do I want to feed myself or do I want a clean house? Like, the fuck? Um, this is a thing. Can we make outgrowing jobs and people okay? Like, let's normalize that shit. There is no such thing as, oh my god, why did you leave that quote-unquote good job? Good jobs are a thing of the 90s. If you don't grow up and get out of an environment that does not appreciate you and go get your worth elsewhere, you're going to be stuck working 20 years plus for a company that will replace you in a heartbeat and knew that they were paying you under the table of what your worth was. Leave jobs that are not appreciating you and paying you for your worth and your effort. Leave relationships that are repeatedly showing you that they don't appreciate who you are and what you do. Stop staying in places and in relationships with people just because of how long you've known each other. Stop it. All right, because then once you realize you wasted time, you're going to be that bitter bitch. And it works if you have a dick or a vagina. All right. Next, La Mal Stereo show will be later today at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on Stereo. And we have a nice topic talking about faking um, if you got off or not. Just so somebody can leave or you can go home. We'll be talking about it later tonight on the Stereo app. If you don't have the Stereo app, download that hoe. It's free. Make yourself an avatar and profile and come on the show live. Because Greg from Young Black and Bothered and I will be talking about it. Next, stop liking all my posts that are most recent and begging for my follow. Like that shit is tacky. You're still a stranger and I don't know you. If we have never engaged in some type of discussion or I don't know you in this podcast world, introduce yourself. Say something. Don't just come on my page and like the last 12 posts and then I see that somebody liked 12 posts and I'm looking to see, okay, what happened? And they're just liking 12 posts and then they say follow. That's not engagement. That's fraudulent. (laughs) Stop that shit. Next on my thoughts. Fuck natural deodorant. The most recent natural deodorant that I've tried that cost me about like $5 is this Dr. Teal's aluminum free deodorant. Um, Rose milk and essential oils with shea butter, arrowroot powder, um, and magnesium. First of all, you try to rub this shit under your arms and it's like rubbing, it's like rubbing, um, chalk that won't brush off on you like chalk on something soft, but it's not coming off. It's not going on. 
And I mainly b- bought this to go under my titties because my titties be sweaty when it's really hot down here in Atlanta. And it works good under my titties, but it is not for my underarms. I just don't feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do under my underarms. And I don't have like a wet, funky feeling under my underarms when I use it. I just have like a, it's not as fresh as I want it to be smell under my underarms when I use it. So I think I will keep it for under the boob. But as far as like my underarms, I went back to my um I went back to my suave 24 hour protection powder fresh one that has aluminum in it because <laughs> I would just rather be fresh than be funky and healthy. I mean the Lord knew when and in what years I needed to be born in and he said my child needs to be born in the times of chemically made deodorant so she can put it on because that's what she likes and I'm just saying I'm just I've come to the revelation that there is no natural deodorant that I will like under my underarms but I will keep it for my titties so next um please check out for the stress podcast they got some good discussions on there check out the one from last week next what do we have on these sticky notes talking about a lot the girl had a lot on her mind um we're almost done i'm almost through people pay people for their service and stop expecting free shit i'm like i'm tired of y'all out here doing that shit if you don't like what you're getting and you don't like what somebody's doing Get up and leave. Don't wait till it's over to start complaining about what they didn't do, how they didn't do it, how you like it, because you ain't say shit the whole process. You just trying to get some shit for free, and we see it. I see you. Don't rush people to be ready for you. Find people who are already ready. Let me say that one more time. Do not rush people to be ready for you in life. Find people who are already ready. All right? A lot of y'all on some make-a-wish foundation ass find a bitch type shit. A lot of y'all are on a -a make-a-wish foundation ass find a bitch type shit. Meaning, y'all get somebody that y'all know ain't for you. And y'all try to mold them into being the person for you and y'all get frustrated in the process this shit blows up in y'all face and then y'all want to compare that one bitch to all the bitches or y'all want to compare that one man to all the men no you try to change who somebody was who was never ready from you from the jump but you're trying to make them be ready because you're tired of looking i'm tired of looking too I'm tired of looking too so much that I'm not even looking no more. I'm not even looking no more. Like, I'm happy there's a mask mandate and I don't have to show my whole face anymore because I'm tired of people looking me in my face to see if I'm open to talking. No, I don't want to talk to you. I didn't want to talk to you before this mask was on my face and I don't want to talk to you now that this mask is on my face. And I'm very happy that this mask is on my face. And I even appreciate it more so when I walk up in stores with my glasses on, shades, or my real glasses so a motherfucker don't have to talk to me. Like, I don't know. And a lot of people say... Well, Chantal, when when do you feel like you're going to be ready to meet new people or a man? I don't know, and I don't care. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because what is meant for me will be for me, and if nothing is meant for me, then there will be no man here, and I'm still going to be great. Maybe... My greatness will be a little bit more easier if I have the right man beside me in life. But for the most part, I just don't feel the urgency to make room for that shit right now. So, don't rush people to be ready for you. Find people who are for you and who are ready. Okay? Next thing, Velveeta cheese ain't right, ain't been right. Be mad at your mama, not me, and her clogged arteries, okay? 
Y'all eating that shit, talking about y'all eating good? Yeah, y'all gonna eat y'all some right into that motherfucking casket. Next, no one cares about why you date or married outside your race. Just be happy in your relationship and your marriage. And don't speak down on your ethnicity because whatever your ethnicity is, is gonna be running through your children's veins. All right? Next, this is a hot topic. Drake and Kanye's album came out. Okay, same week. And equally are a no play straight through a bowl for me. Meaning, I would never play these albums straight through and bop. All right. In my opinion, there's some trash records on both of them. But there's more trash records on Kanye's album than there is on Drake's because Drake fits into a lot of genres of today more so than Kanye makes albums for Kanye all right either way I would never play both albums straight through all right so there's that neither of them win um lastly on the sticky note thoughts I am ready for cool mornings and fresh mouthwash mint breath um, in the air. Okay, I'm ready for fall colors, jackets, hoodies, boots. I'm ready for um, different scents in the air, cologne, perfume, body sprays. I'm ready for less frizzy hair because... The heat has subsided. I'm ready for all of that shit. I'm ready for windows open in the morning. I'm ready for um, people to calm down and put their clothes on. Okay, Hot Girl Summer is about to take a wrap. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for scarves, hats, layers, all of that shit. The girl is ready. My wardrobe is ready. I have another um, set of sweaters and shit sitting in my cart that I have not pushed purchase on in five days because the Lord is working on me. And I need someone to tell me that I don't need it. Okay? (sighs) I need someone to tell me I don't need it. Where are you going, Chantal? Who are you going with? Who all going to be there? Why are you purchasing these clothes? Why do you have um, sexy, ooh, can't wait till we get home so he can take this off dresses and know him to take it off? Like, what are you, what are you doing, Chantal? Who are you buying these clothes for? Y'all. Yo. I got one, two, three, four, five. And one more coming in the mail. New pairs of shoes. And nowhere to be. No one to go with. And I just, someone, someone come help me. (laughs) Let's get into the tweet of the day. The tweet of the day is from me at she gets a pod on Twitter. All right. It says if a man who knows how to cook well finds me, I'm going to be obese because I'm going to eat all his meat. And I meant that shit to the bottom of my heart. You ever seen those men that be on IG or TikTok? You hungry? Ooh, let's let's cook this. We'll be cooking today. And they be on there grilling meat, juicy meat. Or they be like putting seasonings together and um, making their own pasta and, and, and cooking meat or fish to perfection and baking shit and have shit dripping the way that it's supposed to drip. And it's correct. And then you look at their face. And their skin is beautiful and their hair is just moisturized and they have nice teeth and their eyes are pretty and they have a good grade of hair and their their hands are clean and they just have man body. 
sir. That shit. <laughs> Let me no. I a woman is not supposed to find a man. A man finds a woman. All right. That a man that can cook. That is put together, hygiene ready, and life in order ready, and mentally ready, and emotionally on some A1 shit, and is also with a good sense of humor, and has nice teeth, and financially can support himself in life. And does not want kids. And he could cook. And he enjoys cooking. Sir, I'm going to eat all your meat. All your meat. The one that you buy at the grocery store. And the one you came with by birth. I'm going to eat all your meat. Okay. And that one I won't use any teeth. I promise. Okay. Now let's get into the show. So let's talk about it. So body work versus workouts. Let's talk about the people. Let's talk about the mentality. Let's talk about the fact that people who really put in the work to have nice things take care of themselves differently. They take care of other people differently. They speak to people differently, right? They understand the value of time better than most people. They realign their mentality when they change bad habits organically to good habits, right? Quick fixes will have you right back to the bullshit sometimes, right? Needy people tend to want quick fixes. Needy people want... Things to happen quick, fast, and in a hurry because it can, um, because that's how I want it, you know. And sometimes it works for them for a moment or so, but then they write back to like old habits and shit not matching up, right? Body work is when a person just gives up, doesn't want to do the work organically and says, how much will it cost for a doctor to cut me up and get me right? Okay. Everyone has their reasons for getting body work done. I remember when plastic surgery was a thing you did because medically something was um, not correct on your body from birth or you had an accident. I want to say... 2007 up until now plastic surgery has become like oh I got an appointment tomorrow to get this done like normal like a dentist appointment right and I'm just like damn doctors just said fuck it if they paying I'm slaying you know what I'm saying and everyone has your reasons for getting body work done workout people Are people wanting body changes and life changes and are willing to work for it? Consistency to change eating habits. They appreciate the time spent. They appreciate the baby steps along the way. They understand that good things won't always be overnight successes or quote unquote by luck. There is no ultimate one body type. Right? And don't get me wrong, the big bodybuilder ass men are annoying because they eat, sleep, wake, work at the gym, right? They need their protein shakes. They have a mundane way of living. Um, They usually wear the same similar shit. They like to wear them tank tops where their nipples be out. Um, Their top be bigger than their bottom looking like Johnny Bravo. They're usually bald headed or... They have low fades and it's just, ew, you look hella basic. You look like you belong over there with the rest of them that look like that. To me, that shit is not sexy. Big muscle men ain't sexy to me. I would never step into a um, men's strip club. Like, that shit ain't sexy to me. But some people think that's sexy. Some people think that's appealing. And 
I don't know. Y'all already know I don't like anything mundane. I I I will appreciate a man who knows like I need to keep my heart rate up. I want to be fit. I want to be able. I want to be able to play with my kids. I want to be able to keep up. I want to keep my stamina up sexually. I want to be able to give you that thrust daddy 5,000. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that, you know? But at the same time, not every woman wants a man with flat abs, right? I feel like a man should have a little Buddha belly to him, right? It's, it, it, it's, it's appealing to me. Um, it's something nice to lay on, like... Having a man with a whole bunch of abs on his stomach or a man being really skinny ain't never been appealing to me. Um, Now, don't get me wrong. I don't like when men have man boobs. I don't like that. Like, I feel like his pecs are supposed to be fit and not jiggly. I don't like any man with, like, cuppage on his... Like, the only person that's supposed to be having cuppage at the top of these is me. I'm the only one, like, I got enough for both of us. You don't need to be having that. So, yes, you need to do your push-ups. You need to do your pull-ups. You need to, you know, do whatever on your chest to keep that top flat. But that stomach, I'm not saying be 10 months pregnant out here, but I do appreciate a little Buddha, right? I do appreciate a man with fit thighs, you know what I'm saying? I do appreciate a man with nice calves, right? But at the same time, I don't need you protein shaking it every day. I don't need you with 3,000 muscles on your shoulder and your back. I don't need you standing outside looking like a fucking pit bull. Like, chill. Chill with all that. Find your balance. Find your medium. Be healthy. Drink your water. Stop drinking so much. Stop smoking so much. Find your balance. You know, we all have our guilty pleasures, but I just think the mentality of people who work out is way better than the people who go get body work done. Because nothing good comes easy. Do the work. Get a person that works smarter and knows work must be done. Okay, if you feel like getting your body done is your head start for where you need to be healthy wise. Okay, but don't just be one of those people that go get your body done, not work out, not do the work. You still eat inconsistently. Um, You know, instead of you work out the rest of your body, you're looking at other parts of your body to go get more work done because you don't want to do the work. Like it becomes this, when is the red light? When is the stop sign for you? You know what I'm saying? And then it becomes, let me fix the outer part of me, but not deal with the inside part of me that I need to fix because we all need fixing, right? And people who ain't scared to grind build wealth, period. People who are scared to grind and put in the work Spend more money. People who value goals are mentally balanced and they have more follow through. Can nobody argue with me with that? So if you are someone who's not scared of work, if you are someone who values the little things and the small efforts that turn into big changes, find you someone who wants to do the workout. If you are somebody who is vain enough to care about what the outside look like, but you fucked up on the inside or you, the inside of shit needs work, you know, you probably going to get you somebody that wants to get body work done or values body work over putting in the work. And I'm just telling you that those mindsets are different. Okay. Okay. Know what you're getting, know what you're doing, know who you're dealing with. For me, I value workouts over getting body work done. Okay. But if I had a nose like the Kardashians before they had their (laughs) plastic surgery done, why be in that chop shop of that doctor with the quickness? I don't know what the fuck that nose is about, but yeesh. But anyway... 
that's my jits. Um, this is She Gets It Podcast. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys are enjoying the sticky notes rants. I usually don't do those, but that's the idea I had this week. So I'm just, you know, seeing what happens with that. Other than that, shout outs to the Barbie Way, the Rosie Perspective. I see y'all. Chilling with Juice Podcast. I see you. Shout out to Young Black and Bother. Greg, you are appreciated and loud mouth stereo. Shout out to So What Page We on Bed. My other two buddies over there, Kiki and Casey. We will be starting the new book very soon. We are currently reading Midnight by Sister Soldier. That is a dry ass book. All right, shit, can't wait till we get out of that book. Um, And uh, that's it. I'm going to catch y'all on Friday. Peace.